Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Reckless Riley, and today I'm going to do a tutorial for scripting in Halo Master Chief Collection. Now, I know a lot of people want to know exactly how to do it because it's a little bit confusing, especially since there's no in-game tutorial or anything. So, I'm going to do my best to show you all the different things you can do it with it, or at least the simple ways of how to make it and how to make it work. So, to start off, we have the switches on and switches off. Now these do exactly what you'd think they do. They turn on and off an object. Now lights over here, just to explain before we do any of this, because this will get a little confusing if you don't understand this first. When lights are turned on, their light turns off. When lights are turned off, their lights turn on. Now, I, once you wrap your mind around that, the rest of this will be simple. So going over to the switch on, this uh, light over here has a broadcasting channel of 1. So going to here, if I go to set the broadcast channel to 1 the same, they'll both be connected. Same for the switch off, if I go to broadcast channel, that's set to 1, perfect. So to turn it off, because it's currently on, if I go over here, I can now use it, holding down my right bumper, it turns on. Now going over to the on one, this is now activated. See the off can't, you can't turn it off twice, see? So if I go to the on switch, turn it on, there we go, it's gone. So that's the simple way of just using an on and off switch. You can use that for any block, making it disappear or reappear. So that's perfect. So going over to this light over here, we now have the uh, switch off and switch on. So these are just like a double up of what I was doing. Sorry, that's from earlier. Over here, we have the light with the toggle. So the toggle switch is just the on and off switch put into side each other. So if I turn this off, as you can see, the light goes on. If I turn it on, the light goes off. So this does whatever a on and off switch would do, except it just does it within one switch. Because sometimes you want people to be able to turn it on, some other people will be turn it off, or maybe you don't want anybody to be able to turn it off only on. So that's exactly just what that does and how it works. Now moving on to the timers over here, timers work the exact same way as switches, except you don't activate them. They are activated by themselves with a timer. So going over to scripting, we do the same thing as broadcasting channel. And as you can see, the broadcast channel is broadcast, cha broadcast channel 4. And by doing that, they are all in the same channel. And now what I can do is I can actually set the time. So setting the time is in seconds. So if you want it to be a minute, you have to make it 60. Two minutes, 120. Obviously, that's just how it works. Now, for tutorial purposes, I'm going to make this five seconds. So as you can see, that just turned on because I set it to one second and then I switched it. So now that's off and uh, I want to turn that uh, back on or whatever. So setting it in a loop like this, if I turn them both to five, every five seconds, it'll switch because one will do the work and then the other can't turn it off again or on again. So the other one does its work and turns it on. So as you can see, it switches back and forth, and I can make that less or more depending on its time. Now over here is just the uh, on once and on off once. Now this is a little bit harder to demonstrate, but it does the exact same as, as that, except it does not loop. So when you turn it on, it'll only turn it on once. So let's say two minutes into the game, you want this turned on, but it won't turn it on a second time. So if somebody's able to turn that off, it'll stay off because this switch will not turn it on again in any sort of time loop or anything. So you can turn it on again, obviously, with other switches, but this timer will only turn it on once or only turn it off once. Now over here, we have the light green. Now the light green... Um, is set to the toggle one and the toggle timer does the exact same thing as on and off except together So if I wanted to set this inside of a loop and say okay So this is the channel 8 and I want this to turn on and off every two seconds So let's set the broadcast channel to 8 and then let's go to five seconds There we go Every five seconds this will turn on there you go so that's just a simple way of doing it, and you have the toggle switch, so you don't have any problems there, there's no extra switches, just one switch, one place, so you can toggle it on and off, and on and off for every few seconds. Now over here we have the player activated zones, or more specifically they're called the triggers, on enter, and on enter on. So what these do is they're activated by your actual location. So let's say I wanted to turn this switch on here, this light on here, because as you can see, the light is shining on the ground, which means it's on. So if I enter this zone, it'll turn on. Now if I enter, oh, th this zone, as you can see, it's now off. 
So by going inside of that zone, you can activate and deactivate things. So you can make it location based. So if I'm standing in here, I want to get to that bridge. You can make it disappear just as I'm about to step on that bridge, which is kind of a fun move to do with your friends in Forge. Now over here, we have the um, trigger on enter toggle. So this will just switch it back and forth every single time you enter. So now it's on, now it's off, now it's on, now it's off. So it'll just switch depending on how many times you go through. So every time you enter that area, it'll turn on and off. Now over here, what we have is the on exit on. So this does the exact same thing, except the opposite. So when you walk in, it won't do anything. But when I leave, you'll see it turns on. Now it's the same thing over here. Go in. There we go. But as you can see, once I enter and leave, I can't do it a second time because this zone only turns on and that zone only turns off. So you just got to remember the on and off and how each one works. Now over here we have the on exit toggle. So this does the same thing as on enter toggle, except it's every single time you leave. So there we go. That's what happens. And that's just a simple way of doing it. Now over here we have the on stay off. So as you can see, this will stay off. If I So if I go in here, it'll now be on. And when I leave, that that is no longer sending a signal. So if somebody else were to walk into there, it would now change it. But that is only as long as I'm staying inside. So this is still sending the on. Now this is sending the off signal right now. And as you can see, it's just doing that. But because there's nobody else trying to switch it while I'm not in there, it's a little bit hard to see. But as long as I'm in there, it will stay on. Or as long as I'm in there, it will stay off. Now over here, we have the on stay toggle. So as long as I'm staying inside of here, it'll toggle. So if I go back in, there we go. So on, off. So every single time I go in, it changes its activation. So there we go. This is a simple, simple way. Um, as you can see, they're not too complicated. Now, as you can see here, we have a trigger on destroyed. And this is the most specialty piece of all of these because this is perfect for map-based events where a player would activate something like a waterfall turning on or something where uh, just an event happens in the map. So if you want somebody co in a competitive map to make it so that all of a sudden a section is blocked off or something, you can do that by using this switch. So as you can see here, there's a giant light on it. So when I shoot this switch, as you can see, the light is currently uh, shining. But when I fire at it, it's no longer shining. So on destroying that, you can make it so that people can activate events based on when that gets shot. So those are the basics behind all of the different switches and such. This is just the simple way of using it. There are much more advanced ways of using it, but I just wanted you guys to get the general idea and maybe make something out of it yourself. Anyway, guys, if you'd like more videos like this, please comment below and like the video. Anyway, guys, I'm Reckless Riley, and I'll see you guys later.